Hey guys, it's Thomas and today we are talking about solar panels. Now, why are we talking about solar panels? Well, because we recently got some and I know that along the way of us deciding to make that decision, we had a lot of questions. And so as somebody who now owns them and is using them and experiencing what that is like, if you have any questions about solar panels, please put those in the comments and we will make a whole series of videos related to solar panels to help you understand what the process looks like. We also purchased a power wall, so we have the backup power and case of an outage. We live in Texas. We've been warned all summer there could be outages and in the winter there are sometimes outages. So we just wanted to have that backup option with us. So again, if you have any questions related to those things, then throw that in the comments, but let's get started. Now, the first step with getting solar is you obviously have to choose a solar company that you want to go with. We decided to go with Freedom Solar Power. It was somebody that my wife got in contact with, and we were actually very pleased with the process. One thing that they do differently that's nice is they run the conduit and the wires connecting your solar panels to the power boxes through your attic instead of stretching conduit across your roof line. Now, here's a shot of the inside of the garage where it's going to go, the power wall before the installation. And as you'll see here in a second, here is the power wall that they brought. Now you can install the power wall on the outside of the house and that was actually what they say some other companies will do. We specifically wanted it installed in the garage for just safety purposes and uh, keeping it out of the weather but also not seeing having other people see it in terms of trying to steal it or things like that. So we wanted it in our garage. They allowed us to do that and as you can see on the outside of the house a lot of work gets done installing these boxes for the breakers to go and the switch boxes and things like that. There needs to be a way to direct the power that's coming in from the solar panels either to the battery or the backup battery there, or it needs to go to powering the house, or it needs to go back to the grid. And so these boxes on the outside of the house are sort of control switches and uh, breakers that control which direction to send the power for what purposes and at what times and things like that. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into installing these boxes on the outside of the house and connecting all the wiring. So these two gentlemen here are licensed electricians and also the people that are installing the solar panels on the roof are licensed electricians. Now we worked with an energy consultant at Freedom Solar Power named Dalton Enriquez and we were very pleased with the experience that he provided. He answered all of our questions quickly and efficiently and so if you are interested in working with Freedom Solar Power and you'd like to get in contact with Dalton then I'm going to go ahead and put his contact information in the description of this video. Now full disclosure if you decide to go with Freedom Solar Power and you let Dalton know that Thomas Knapp is who sent you their direction then there is a referral bonus that we will receive. There's absolutely no pressure to go with this company. We just wanted to inform you of the process of installing solar, but if you do want to support the channel, then this is one way that you can do so. Once they were able to get the boxes installed on the side of the house, now it's time to actually connect things with the wires. So you can see here they have the conduit and they're going to start to pull the wires from the truck through the conduit and then run that conduit through the uh, attic in order to start making those connections. Now the actual installation of the solar panels on the roof really only took a few hours, but these gentlemen were here all day because they had to start with installing the boxes, running the wires and making all of the connections. So the solar panel installation is sort of a separate process with separate people than the electricity connections. And that's what these guys were doing all day long. And you can see now they've got the wire sticking through the conduit coming to these boxes on the outside of the house. And so the next thing that we're gonna see is the actual solar installers who have showed up and are beginning to put the solar panels on the roof. I did ask if I could uh, have permission to be on the roof with them, to which they basically said, it's your roof, we can't stop you. However, we do ask that you would use your own ladder, not our ladder, don't use our equipment. And again, sort of do it at your own risk. So they had their ladder, I installed my own ladder, and I hopped up on the roof as well. So here you can see the railings that basically are the platform that the solar panels sit on. And the solar panels themselves, they don't have bolts or screws that go through them. They basically have these little connectors that pinch the solar panels into place, and then those get screwed into the racks that you see here and that's how the solar panels get installed and don't move around. Here you can see an end cap that again keeps the solar panel from moving and then these are little bumpers on the top and bottom that basically cushion them because we have two rows of solar panels. Now on the back each panel has a micro inverter and one of the nice things about this part of the system is that if a single solar panel goes down for some reason then the whole system doesn't crash and burn just that piece. And so think about Christmas lights how it used to be if a single Christmas light went out the whole set string of lights would go out. These micro inverters prevent that from happening. 
So here are the plugs that each microinverter plugs into, and these are spread out along this cord that is along the railing. And you can see here, that's those pinch things that, that secure each panel in place. And this is where the actual wires get run through the attic. Remember, I said some companies will run conduit all along your house to connect to those boxes on the outside of the house. This company, Freedom Solar Power, will run those through your attic so it's not an eyesore on the outside of your roof. And the company will also use zip ties to make sure that all the wires are out of place and that the wiring isn't getting pinched between the solar panels. And here we are with all the solar panels completely installed on the roof. Now we don't have a huge house, so there's not a ton of solar panels. And we were able to put it all on one side of our house, which I think looks pretty nice when it's all said and done. Obviously your results will vary based on the peaks of your home. Now back in the attic, we can see here that the total complete installation of the solar system is not complete. They still have to connect a number of wires and here's some of that conduit again that's running through the house to those electrical boxes. But the solar panel installation on the roof is now complete. And imagining all this conduit that's running through my attic being stretched across my roof line makes me glad I went with Freedom Solar Power. Now again, the reason for these different boxes and conduits and wires is because there is now basically three different potential power sources powering the house. That's the solar panels, the battery, and the grid, and power can go back and forth between those different things. Now let's take a look here inside the Tesla app on my phone that is showing me the details about my home. Now this was taken in the early morning, so my house isn't using much power, and nor is the solar panels producing much power. But as you can see over here in the top right, this is how much power my house is currently using. And then this is how much the solar panels are producing at this moment. Now since that number is less than what my house is using, then down here at the bottom, this is what power is coming from the grid. Now you notice again, my power wall is only charged at 21%. You can adjust how much you want as a reserve on your power wall battery and then Anytime that your house is using more power than your solar power panels are producing, then the power comes first from the power wall. And once the power wall reaches that reserve amount, which you can set all the way up at 100% if you'd like, then it starts to use power from the grid. Now this space next to the electric panel to the left here, they're gonna install another box that's a junction box, which is where the different connections between the solar panel, the battery, and the grid are going to come in to connect and serve as another option to cut power to the house. Here's what it looks like on the inside, and it is about to be installed in the wall. You can see here the electrician is cutting the drywall, prepping the space, and now here's the space where it's going to go. You can see he's also removed the cover for the electric panel, and then he also has to remove part of a stud that is coming where that new box is gonna have to go. You can see now with the stud removed, the box fits perfectly in that section right next to the electric panel. Now here's a visual of the power coming from the grid through the wall into this junction box and also coming into the top of this junction box is power coming from those boxes on the outside of the house that is either bringing power from the solar panel or power from the backup battery. And they meet here in this junction box and then flow into the electric panel. Now our electric panel will also be replaced as part of this system, but the particular panel they have uh, ordered is on back order and so we are waiting for it to come in stock. In the meantime, they're just tying into our existing panel, but this will be replaced with a smart panel in the future and we will make a video updating you when that arrives. So again, more pieces put together. Here's more of the wires all connected, how it looks. It's nice and clean inside there. And we will update with the new electric panel when it shows up as well. And as a reminder, if you're interested in contacting contacting Dalton for your own solar panel system or just to discuss the pricing and what it would look like for you, here's his information and let him know Thomas Knapp sent you. I will also have that information linked in the description. So here's the Tesla power wall and the Tesla junction box installed with a nice white finish. Thanks for watching this video about how our solar panels were installed. Continue to ask any questions in the comments and we'll address them in future videos and definitely stay tuned for part two where we talk about and show you the installation of the smart panel and how it works. If you want to continue watching more with Thomas Tries, then watch this video here, but otherwise we will see you in the next one.